It's not enough for a dining chair to look inviting. It also has to be comfortable and sturdy. The secret to manufacturing a quality dining chair is to use hardwood and traditional furniture construction techniques. This company makes dining chairs out of hardwoods, such as birch, walnut, oak, and ash. They dry the wood until its moisture content is 7%, so the chair size stays consistent after construction. First, workers stand planks of wood on a conveyor belt to apply glue. Then they align the plank's glued edges and clamp them tightly together in a heated press. After a few hours of heat and pressure, the glue is dry and they release the press. The planks now form a large panel from which to cut the chair parts. A computer-guided bandsaw cuts the preliminary shape. These are chair legs. The next machine, the profiler, finalizes the shape and sands the wood surface on all sides. Workers now mount the parts on another computer-guided machine. This one drills slots called mortises. These mortises will receive pins called tenons protruding from adjoining parts. Before assembly, workers sand all the parts so they can be stained later. To make a curved chair back, they have to bend the wood. They need the wood to have a 15 to 22 percent moisture content. Any dryer and the fibers would snap when bent. They steam the wood for an hour to soften it and make it more flexible. They place the steamed wood in a curved mold on a press. Then they dry it with a device that generates heat using radio frequencies. After about an hour, they release the press and remove the wood. The moisture content is now 7%, which maintains the curved shape. Parts that need tenons go into this automated machine. Its rotary knife shapes the tenon in about one second. Workers glue the mortises in the two vertical sides of the chair back, then brush glue onto the tenons of the chair back's horizontal pieces. They align the tenons and the mortises and secure them in place with a mallet. They put the chair back into a press to force the tenons in place. They reinforce each mortise and tenon joint with staples designed for wood. They continue to assemble the chair parts with mortise and tenon joints. This method is key to the chair's strength and stability. Now for the final stage of construction. They attach the front leg assembly to the chair back. The chair is placed in a press to completely secure the tenons. Then they attach a support piece at each corner. In the finishing department, they spray a light coat of stain, wipe off the excess so that the color is even, spray on a sealant, lightly resand the wood, and apply a coat of protective finish. Finally, they add a seat cushion, which screws into the chair from underneath. Now you're sitting pretty.